Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about how to use queuing for omni-channel communications and data items within the UUE, also known as the Unified User Experience. So first off, let's talk about our, you know, the questions or the reasons that you might want to use uh, queuing with this system. So that would be a, an example would be a queue for your text messages, a queue for your phone calls, a queue for your emails or email tickets, also a queue for your tickets, basically any inbound interaction or piece of data that your agent would need to work with. And rather than manually assigning it to the agents, uh, you would automate the assignments, right? So we would automatically create a, a queue. So the question is, does your management team manually uh, assign work? Uh, how much faster could you operate if those assignments were automated? Uh, the struggle that companies face uh, with work assignments is the need for someone to be on call constantly to assign the work to the agents. So what's worse is, you know, if, if a member is not available from that group who assigns the work, uh, then the work doesn't get assigned uh, and no work is performed, which is terrible. Alternatively, the agents would be able to cherry pick work for themselves. Um, but studies have shown that you know, agents will burn about 20% of their time if uh, basically the work is not fed to them in some type of a queue, right? Uh, so that's, it, it's really vital that you look at uh, you know, what's, what's possible in terms of automating work assignments. So, and when I say that, I mean uh, rules-based work assignments. There, well, there's two, there's two types of uh, queuing that can work really well, you know, within the system, right? And um, the, the first type would be a skills-based routing. And, you know, with skills-based routing, that would be the, the unified user experience connecting to your uh, contact center, your existing contact center, and then using the skills from that to uh, basically route, um, route the queue, you know, route the assignments to the agents. The, the second way that, that uh, work can be assigned is through rules-based routing, right? So if, if we're using uh, data rules, then, um, then that's kind of a different scenario. But, but let's look at a, an example. Uh, I'm just going to bring over here an example of what the agent screen might look like for automated assignments. So we already know what we're trying to do, what we're trying to accomplish is for the management team to not be burdened with, with the manual assignment of work. And, and for that to be a more automated process, right? So the easy thing about this or the simple thing is, you know, first off on the left side, let's give you a little tour of the screen. This is an outbound engagement scenario. So the three major things the system does are uh, ticketing, inbound scripted processes, and outbound guided processes. So with an outbound guided process, I've got my KPIs that show my performance over here on the left side. And then I've got my list of data you know, my list of records that are assigned to me. But the more important thing is this is all uh, data driven for maximum efficiency. So as uh, an agent, all I do is click this button. I click this button, it loads the next lead. And basically I just go through and, and work on it from there. So I've got all my data and, and this system is a view-based architecture. So Whatever your outbound guided process is, you can say, what do I need? What data do I need in the center of the screen? Do I need to synchronize that data with a remote system? That is all possible with this product, right? So we can synchronize data. Let's say that you have three different systems. You want to bring data from three different systems onto a single screen, or you need to just create outbound lead queues. That's a very common request to say, hey, we we want to create different campaigns. We want to dip into another system and bring the data up. The lists are already you know, pre-configured in this other system. So we want basically the UUE just to reach out, grab the list uh, through the API and pull it in here. That is possible, right? So from an agent standpoint, it's very simple. They just hit get next lead or, or get next prospect, whatever the case may be. 
you've already assigned them uh, an outbound call. And so now they can just walk through it, right? And as they walk through it, uh, they'll be able to see at the top where the system is in terms of process automation. So I can see that the process automation is on its fourth step and I could click on that and I could speak to it. Uh, if the client said, hey, I, I received a text message and I received an email from you, um, I'd be able to reference those things as an agent, number one. But you can see how the system is taking actions, the, the light blue actions here the system took, and then now it's assigning actions to the agent uh, in the light gray. So the system can hand off back and forth between the agent and its, and, and its automation piece. Um, but as an agent, now all I have to do, I just click this button, it would automatically dial if I'm doing an outbound call. And then I can talk through you know, whatever the customer needs me to, to work, with, uh, work with them on. So there's instructions in the center of the screen. We have the lead information on the right. Uh, I might have another script, like a discovery process built into that. There's a lot of options. And, and this is all configurable and customizable in terms of the data that you want the agent to collect or interact with in the outbound process. So, Getting back to rules-based uh, task assignments and automation, uh, I just wanna talk really quickly about the engine that drives that, right? So, uh, and this, this would be your performance. You'd be you know, managing your performance and taking a look at how things you could drill down into the data. How's my outbound uh, working? How many leads do I have assigned or how many prospects do I have assigned? Uh, you know, who has what, how many uh, interactions has each person taken or executed. But this, this is the engine that controls the automation of work assignments. And you can see it, it can be simple or it can be complex. You could have a single action, a single automation piece, or you can have multiple. So uh, you could actually do bullseye routing with this and say, um, assign it to this team first this team or this person. Uh, and then the next step is let's assign it to this team or this person. If this is true, then let's assign it to this team or this person. And, and basically it would automatically go into their queue. This, this piece can actually put it right into the agent's queue. That might be that it's queuing up uh, an outbound call, or that might be that it is, um, you know, giving them something in, in their queue in like a uh, Kanban, you know, so if, if we're looking at the Kanban piece here, this is what the agent's queue might look like. It's drag and drop. I can look at the data. And this is also possible in addition to the outbound screen that I showed you initially for queue management. So this might be a screen that managers use when they're looking at queue management. And again, this is automated. So you don't have to manually manage anything, but if you wanted to override and you want to very quickly override something, you just drag it. As a manager, you drag it over and now it's it's been overridden. It's overridden the system's um, decision. So when it comes to rules-based uh, task assignments and automations, the UUE is uh, it's a very powerful tool for the job. Um, in the broad scheme of uh, in the in the broad scheme of omnichannel communications. Few platforms offer the same flexibility. So you can automate your interaction and work assignments. Uh, you can pick and choose different omni-channel providers with this platform. Uh, so your text messaging uh, an email could be different providers from your uh, telephone or contact center service, right? Or your, you know, your POS system. So the, the idea behind this is it's an octopus. You could have you know, Twilio for your text messaging, you could have nice in contact for your contact center or five nines or, you know, a, a, about more than a dozen others, or there's actually hundreds of others, uh, depending on the options you choose. Um, there's thousands of uh, examples of how you can automate the, the rules based logic. So, like I said, the system can use skill based logic from your contact center. We can we can take the skill based logic and just be an extension of it for the use case or we can create rules or uh, your outbound work assignments uh, or any of your data engagements that you have. So any, any data within the system is, uh, is an option for you to generate a work assignment. Uh, and it's, it's extremely powerful in that regard. So 
If you want more information, feel free to visit www.ivinix.com. That's www.ivinix.com. Or reach out to us at sales, sales at ivinix.com. That's again, sales at ivinix.com. And I want to thank you for your time today. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Bye.